All right, all right. L D W M M A C. It is your boy, the coach. You're live, live, live on the coach's show, the coach's show live. Okay, guys. I definitely been waiting on this fight. The fight between Latoya, the black, the black Mamba Walker, versus Caitlin Young, the striking Viking. Okay. You know, I'm cool with both of these fighters. I've interviewed them both before. You know, Caitlin Young. That's that's like that person, boy. You just you can sit back with Caitlin Young and just watch sport, sports. Caitlin Young is one of the guys. Like, for real. She be one of them per people, man. You can take her to any sporting event, and Caitlin Young gonna have fun, okay? Caitlin Young is not a complex type of female. Latoya Walker, she real easy going, man. Real easy going. She don't have a whole lot to say. Uh, she let her fist do the talking for her. Man, this fight right here, man. I definitely been waiting on it, man. Waiting on it for a minute. Um, you know, Latoya Walker with like a three, four year layoff. Was she gonna come in here and be effective? against the striking viking and, and, and what was the striking viking gonna do okay because the last time she fought she lost to pam bam sorson for the invicta title so both of these two they're coming in with a lot of emotion into this fight so what what, what exactly happened coach sheldon harrison gonna tell you in round one latoya walker and caitlin young they let their hands fly okay they let their hands fly Caitlin Young established a consistent leg attack to Latoya Walker. And those leg kicks, to me, made the difference in this overall fight. Okay, Caitlin Young continued to assault the legs of Latoya Walker. And um, and I thought at one point Latoya was going to kind of mix her own kicks in there. I, I, I saw Latoya throw about two kicks the entire fight. But what Latoya was doing when Caitlin Young was throwing those leg kicks, Latoya began to throw the counter right hand. And the counter right hand was very effective. It was effective. But, you know, I began to wonder, you know, how many leg kicks is Latoya going to be able to eat before she began to, like, you know, actually start to feel them? I'm going to tell you, Latoya Walker built like a damn tank, man. She, she built like a damn Mack truck. Like, this girl can take massive amounts of punishment in the octagon. And I know she had to take about 60 to 70 leg kicks, probably 50. I'll say about 50 leg kicks. Latoya Walker ate them leg kicks and still kept coming forward. Um, Latoya was throwing them hands, and she had a pretty decent jab. Her jab was good. But with Caitlin Young, I saw what she was doing. Caitlin Young, it took her a while to get started. But Caitlin Young continued to throw the kicks to the body. She continued to throw the kicks to the leg. And those leg kicks and body kicks those were starting to wear on Latoya Walker. They were starting to wear. Round two, okay? Caitlin Young turned it up, man. Um, she got into, no, no, no. Okay, Caitlin Young started amplifying those kicks. Okay, like she threw like, what, three or four kicks in a row. Okay, and I was wondering, okay, so when is Latoya Walker gonna check some of these kicks? When is she gonna check them, you know? I didn't see Latoya Walker check a lot of the kicks and that did not deter Caitlin Young. From throwing those kicks see when you got somebody who like to kick your legs like caitlin young you got to do something that's going to deter him so i thought okay well maybe latoya walker is going to get this fight to the ground because you know caitlin young you know she's not that great on the ground that's not her forte latoya walker is very good on the ground and so i figured latoya would try to at least get the fight to the ground no latoya didn't do it what latoya did is she stayed in that mid-range and latoya walker was letting her hands go okay but the thing of it is, Latoya Walker would land. You know, she'd land a jab and a right cross. But see, Caitlin Young would just brutally attack those legs. And she kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it. And you can slowly see the wind beginning to leave Latoya Walker. You can slowly see that wind. Um, Latoya, though, damn, boy, she was still in there. And, you know, round two, I really thought Latoya, like the damage to the legs and the damage to the body was beginning to show toward the end. Um, and then, you know, like, I don't know, this happened to Betsko here, too, where, you know, like, the little 10-second uh, clock come on and the little thing start clapping. And so, L Latoya Walker thought that was the end of the round. Caitlin Young had a clean shot right in Latoya's grill. She could have threw a head kick. She could have threw an elbow. It was there. But Caitlin Young, being the consummate professional that she is, she opted not to throw that kick. She didn't do it, okay? Um, and it kind of shows you a lot about the character of the striking Viking, man. Shows you a lot, because she could have did it. Round three, Latoya began to pick the pace up. She began to pick the pace up. She caught uh, Caitlin Young with a beautiful right hand. And then Caitlin Young, you know, she, she went, she threw a kick to the body, and then came back up top with the head. And uh, you can start to see Latoya slow down again. Caitlin Young got a beautiful clinch on Latoya Walker. 
and she pushed Latoya Walker back up against the cage. And Caitlin Young just began to throw in elbows, knees. And, you know, I'm sitting here like, man, I know those knees, they're taking their toll. Latoya Walker ate a hell of a lot of knees. Uh, Latoya was fighting back off that damn cage, man. She was fighting back off the cage, but every time Caitlin Young threw a damn knee, you can see like Latoya Walker just take a deep breath. You know, try to take a breath and then throw a shot. And then Caitlin Young would hit her with a knee. Latoya Walker would take a breath and then throw an elbow. Caitlin Young would throw two knees. Then Latoya Walker would take a breath and then throw a punch. Like, you know, it's like Latoya Walker never stopped fighting. But Caitlin Young, man, she she imposed her will. I'm talking about she imposed her will. Um, and you can tell some of the ring rust is there. Okay, the octagon rust is there for Latoya Walker. If you've been out of the game for four years, okay, you, you are going to be a little rusty, okay? I felt like, to me, this is what I felt like. I felt like Latoya got many more tools than what she displayed. She just didn't use them. I felt like Latoya was boxing inside of an octagon. You know, I felt like Latoya was doing was boxing, and I felt like Caitlin Young was just using all the rules of Muay Thai. So basically, it was, it was a boxing versus Muay Thai matchup. And unfortunately for this one, you know, I was pulling for Latoya. You know, I like them both, though, man. They've both been cool with me. So, you know, to me, I don't have a, a loser in this fight because I rock with both of these ladies. I was pulling for Latoya because, you know, she had unfinished business. Okay, she wanted, you know, that knockout to Charmaine Tweet. She felt like that, hey, you know what? They stopped the fight too early. I, you know, I could have won that fight. That fight, to me, changed the outcome of Latoya Walker's whole career. It did. That referee completely changed the outcome of her career. Because had he to let Latoya Walker recover in the Charmaine Tweet fight, she'd have won that fight. She'd have won it. Um, I just felt like Latoya didn't use the other tools that she got. You know, she was trying to box Caitlin Young in Octagon, and you can't do that. When you come out there in a boxing stance, you know, what, what do you think a person like Caitlin Young going to do? Okay, what do you think that, you know, she's going to attempt to do? She's going to kick your legs. She's going to throw kicks at you. That's what she going, and that's what she did. That's what she continued to do. Um, this win is a big win for Caitlin Young. Uh, Latoya Walker is no slouch, okay? She's a, a very good featherweight. Um, and I don't know. You know, maybe Caitlin Young will be able, you know, to do her thing. Maybe she'll be able to do her thing and maybe get another title shot. I just don't see the UFC trying to pull Caitlin Young there. Um, it's, it's crazy, man, that Invicta got these good flyweights, these good featherweights. But these people, they'll never be called up to the UFC. It's not going to happen. Okay, I'm like it's almost like that, you know, Dana, they put Caitlin Young, they put people like LaToya, they put Pam Bam, they put them into this category. They put them into this category of people that, you know, well, you know, yeah, well, you know, these are people, you know, that they're on another level. They can't be on a level to fight in the UFC. And that's so far from the truth. That's so far from the truth. I kid y'all not. It's so far from the truth. And that these people, they, they actually have skill sets. They're good. Um, I felt like Caitlin Young, she did what she was supposed to do. Okay, this is what you're supposed to do to somebody who haven't had a full camp. Who, I mean, who's been out for four years, who got the rust. I think Latoya Walker, she got to get her feet wet. She got to get back in there again. And what she's going to have to do is she's going to have to implore the other parts of her game. She got to do it. Okay, I just I think Latoya could have done a lot more and possibly could have won this fight. I mean, it was doable. It was there. She just didn't do it. And that's the problem. She just didn't do it. Shout out to Caitlin Young, man. It was a unanimous decision victory for the Striking Viking. Okay? And I definitely probably try to holler at the Striking Viking, try to get her back on the show. And you know, you, you know when me and the Striking Viking get together. You know when we get together, boy, we sitting here and we laughing up. I told you. Man, look, man, y'all y'all talk to Caitlin Young. I'm telling y'all, man. It's like having one of the boys right next to you, man. And y'all can talk about any sport. Hell, I'm going to talk to Caitlin Young. I'm going to talk to her about boxing. I'm going to talk to her about boxing. Or I might talk to her about Major League Baseball and the starting back up. Okay, but guys, tell me what you think. It's your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. Congrats to the striking biking for a complete domination, okay? Subscribe to the best women's platform on, on YouTube.